Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the press conference with, with, with Jules Conde. Can I tell you name and organisation with every press with every person? One question per person, please. Good afternoon. It's a, a game that's difficult in a difficult stadium against a, you know, a, a team that plays such a high level and perhaps their favourite. They're in a great rhythm at the moment in the English league. What role can Barca play tomorrow in this historic game? I think we have to make another step beyond what we did last week. Although I think we played well last week. I think we need to up our intensity. I think that's going to be key to press high, to press well, to get the ball back, win the ball back, and also to cause them damage. Because if we press them, they're going to, they're going to give us things. And I'm sure that we're facing a tough team. It's a historic, huge stadium, but I'm really up for it. And... I think we've got everything in our team for to, to be able to win this and go through to the next stage. We've talking about the attacking ability of both teams, but also it could be an important role for defenders tomorrow. You've got De Gea and Ter Stegen in both both nets. How important will the defence be tomorrow? I think it's going to be key. For me, uh, we've been. We've generally defended very well this season and it's been key for us. We've won a lot of points for defending well and tomorrow we have a, another challenge and we have to take that extra step. You know, at the start of the, since the start of the season, the team's been responding really well. So we have a lot of confidence. We're all very confident and we're going to have to do it very well tomorrow. have to play very well tomorrow. You spoke about, or you're talking about the intensity, upping the intensity, and also overall the pressure. The pressure. We spoke about how you had difficulties down the sides, and how important is it for you guys to kind of stop that offensive ability of Manchester United? I think whether it's whether it was Ronaldo or whoever plays in those positions. You know, it depends on Ronald or, or myself. It depends on the manager. I think it's a collective piece of what we have to do. It's just not just the goalkeeper and the four defenders. I think everyone has to attack. Everybody has to defend. So I think each of us has to, you know, I've not analysed the game in depth, but I think each of us have to do that, do our work and, and carry out their work and their role. And I'm sure that tomorrow we're going to see a, the best version of Barcelona tomorrow. Hello, Jules. When you play in Europe, do you feel more pressure than normal? Because ultimately, it's that great um, thing that Barcelona are lacking at the moment, playing well in Europe. I think, I think there's always pressure. We're not going to say that there's more in this game, or that it's more important, but of course... You know, it's, it's, it's that pressure that you like. I think each of us really have that willingness to play in these types of games, these big games. And obviously, yeah, there's pressure, but it's in no way negative. You know, it's the opposite. It's completely positive. I think everybody really are up for giving that bit extra. And I think that step that we need to take, that extra step. But I'm completely sure and totally, I have total faith in, in my team to be able to respond to re respond tomorrow I wanted to ask you about the importance of those first initial minutes at Old Trafford it will be full for example yesterday we saw the, the Liverpool game against Real Madrid and I suppose those initial minutes are crucial for you guys yeah obviously it's a, it's a stadium that are going to really push on and will on their players you know so we have to be switched on from minute one at maximum intensity because we know our opponents 
uh, are strong in the duels, they're quick, they're strong. So we need to make sure we're at the same level as them from, from minute one. The initial minutes are important. Not They're not decisive, but it's important so that you can build on that confidence to take it on throughout the rest of the game. Do you think the team needs uh, lacks that ye those years of experience to be able to fight with the, the big boys in Europe, let's say? In this case, Manchester United. But also when we speak about the champions, do you think they need that period of experience to be able to, or they need that experience to be able to, to face these big teams? I'm not sure. I think perhaps in certain situations to manage the game, that game management. For example, this, in the second half of the previous game, those first 20 minutes, perhaps we didn't. For example, the, the first 20 minutes of the second half, it was a bit kind of end-to-end -end the game. And it's not something that we want because we want to control the game. And in that sense, perhaps... Perhaps we don't kind of respect the plan, the game plan that we have always. But we always go into it with a lot of willingness. And that's the step that we need to give. It's that, it's that learning step, that learning curve. We drew the game against a big, big team. Tomorrow we have an opportunity to take that extra step, that step forward in Europe. And I think the team are really motivated for this. You weren't there last time, but in Europe, there have been really tough nights for Barcelona. Do you think tomorrow, I know this, this is the Europa, Europa League, but it's a, a, an important stadium in Old Trafford and an old Champions League rival. Do you think that would be a big step, uh, a big blow, let's say, a positive blow for Barcelona? I don't think it's... It's, I don't think we need to make a statement. It's just about winning the game, competing well. Of course, we need to win and then go through to the next stage. I think that's a, it's a big challenge for us and it's a, a big objective because it's a big team with great players and it's a, in a fantastic historic stadium, an important stadium. And I think it's, there's, there's no more than that that goes into it, really. It's just about going through and continue looking to achieve our objective, which is to win the Europa League. I felt that you should have been sent off in the first leg for the challenge on Marcus Rashford when he was going through on goal. What was your view of the challenge and do you in any way feel lucky to be able to play tomorrow and not suspend it for the game? I think it was 50-50. Um, there is a contact, there is a contact, but uh, I think it's very light and um, I think it's very light and, um, and the referee decided to not give me a, a, a red card. So. Um, I don't feel lucky. I feel it's uh, part of a uh, decision of, of the referee. Uh, so um, it's true that uh, I, I think I could have been sent off because it was 50-50, but um, the referee made the decision, and uh, obviously I'm very happy. Yeah. I feel Simon Peach from PA. Um, just following on from that, what have you made of the development of Marcus Rashford and, and Manchester United? You were part of the Sevilla side that knocked him out of the break a few years ago. You, you're impressed by the way they've come on the yeah for sure it's a very different team I think they improved a lot um, they they have a very organized team uh, very strong in a, in a duo and uh, and um, obviously very they have a, a heavy power in the, in the front line um, so yeah it's a much uh, and a very different team from the team I played in Sevilla they're doing a great job also in the in the league so it's a very competitive uh, team um, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be tough it's going to be a, a great battle Hi Jules another question in English for you nice and easy um, you, you've had the chance to play against Marcus Rashford uh, couple of times now you're quite physical very quick yourselves how do you how do you find it coming up against a player like Marcus Rashford and how difficult is it to try and contain him um, whether he be through the middle as a number nine or coming from the left if you're a right back how difficult is it to contain a player like him 
I think he's a very versatile player. Uh, he can do he can do a lot of things on the pitch. Obviously, he's very fast, so it makes it uh, it makes it very difficult. Uh, and also great at, at reading space, uh, great in the, in the, in the area too to to define action. So it's always uh, challenging uh, to play against this type of player. Uh, but very excited. Obviously, that's why we that's why we play. And um, but it's also a collective. I think he he has a great team, great teammates around him. So uh, it's. Um, or, or mission to, to make it difficult uh, for, for, his team, for his teammate to, to find him. And if I may, you... Yeah. Just one question, sorry. No Gracias. Buenas tardes. Thank you. Thank you very much.